Hey guys, what's going on? It's Weird News Wednesday. And before we get to the weird news, I'm really excited to say I have finally 100% completed my gaming setup. So like months ago, when I moved to this new house, I was I show I upload a video of the gaming setup in pro, like in the process of being built. And I was like, oh, you know, in a, in a week or so, I'll finish it and I'll upload the full gaming setup. And I never finished it. I never finished it. I let my office just get disorderly and, and unfinished. And finally, once I got this new PC, I really took the initiative and cleaned the heck out of everything and set up everything really nice. And so I'm ready to show you my gaming setup sometime this week. Um, but that was that was the reason for lack of uploads. Uh, if you guys were wondering, a lot of my series like Let's Plays and normal Call of Duty series just weren't being uploaded. I'm sorry, but it's okay now because I have everything set up and I'm ready to make videos. And let's just get right to the weird news now. Our next story involves dick pics from Mars. And I know, I know you're thinking like, oh, come on, what did an alien from Mars send dick pictures to someone's cell phone of their weird alien dick no 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 that's no that would be kind of funny that would make the story much better but the mars rover so if you know didn't know there's a mars rover on mars right now that sends back pictures of mars and tests shit and does science things and you know all that garbage <laughs> um and in one of the pictures that it sent back that they released no one could really take it that seriously because it showed the Mars rover's tracks and the tracks just so happened to kind of be in the outline of what kind of resembles a penis. So here's the picture. What do you guys think? Is this, is this something you would take seriously or do you just see the outline of a penis? So this woman, who apparently takes great mugshot photos, uh, this woman, her son, was on a Little League baseball team. And after her son and many of the other children started telling their parents that their coach was touching them, so he was molesting the kids, this woman... <laughs> this is an awesome story. You know, so long as he actually molested the kids, which I would assume he did if multiple kids were making complaints to their parents. Uh, I don't think the kids... These were young kids. These are not kids that scheme to put someone in jail for molesting them. These are kids that were probably touched. And, of course, the, the police are investigating the coach and all that um, because there were a lot of reports of him molesting kids. So, obviously, there's something going on. But this woman is awesome. And even though she was arrested, she went at that coach with a baseball bat and fucked his ass up. <laughs> it's, it's it. I, all right. If this was your kid and your kid was getting getting his goodies fiddled by the coach, well, you'd be pissed, right? You know, I, I think a lot of people would go at the coach with a baseball bat. I think that's a perfectly reasonable response to your kid getting, you know, sexually molested. That's not fair. That's something that shouldn't fucking happen. So I want to ask you guys, and some of you will agree, some of you will disagree. Do you think it was an acceptable response for her to go at the guy with a baseball bat after he molested her kids? So in our first story, a woman and a man were going on a first date. So when you think of a first date, you think, all right, you don't know if it's going to go bad or it's going to maybe it'll go well and you want to see that person again, but you don't expect it's exactly going to be dangerous. So this gentleman decided uh, he was going to carjack the woman. So they met up somewhere. I think it was Wendy's. Classy first date. Uh, well, actually, Wendy's is pretty good. <laughs> Their french fries are awesome. But regardless, they don't matter. Uh, <laughs> he, he just held her up at gunpoint, carjacked her, took her purse, and ran off. So men, just want to let you know that is not the way to woo a woman. And I'm just joking. I mean, it's not like he was trying to woo her or get a girlfriend. He just wanted a car and some money. And, uh, you know, he got it until he crashed the car and got caught by the police. So karma's a bitch. This story is pretty epic. So a woman in Kansas was attending the circus when she had to take a whiz. They had to take a little whiz. Sometimes you get a pee. So she went to the restroom only to open the door and find a tiger staring at her. So, I, you know what I wonder? Does, like, she pee her pants right there? Like, as soon as she opened the door and the tiger's like, Hey, girl! Did she just pee? I'm a, I don't know what I would do. I, I would, like, close the door and, like, be like, Ah, God! No, make it stop. 
<laughs> Unless it was a cute baby tiger. I might take a chance and try to pet it. But it was a grown-up tiger. So you don't want to take a chance and pet that. You don't know what might happen. You probably might. I mean, it's a trained circus tiger. But even so, it doesn't know this woman. So it could have ate her ass. But I would totally try and touch a baby tiger if it was there. I'd be like, oh my god, it's so cute. This guy stole 10000 dollars worth of chicken wings from his employer holy crap all right so there's some things that i understand that people would steal so like maybe you're gonna steal liquor from somebody you know bottles of wine you're gonna it's like always in mafia movies or i think it was on the sopranos they like you know they found a truck they stopped the truck and then they you know hijacked it and and took all the wine and they gotta you know sell that shit but Chicken wings, that shit is not lasting unless you got like a freezer truck and you're like running around like an ice cream truck. Like, hey, frozen chicken wings, come get them. What are you doing? In Chicago, you know, my main city, Shy town <laughs> You know, I don't know if you guys know the history. Uh, I think I've talked about this before. I'm sure there's been multiple weird news stories I've probably done on this topic. But in Chicago, we have a baseball team named the Cubs. You have probably heard of them. You've probably heard of them. And uh, they have a curse at their field. So Wrigleyville, or Wrigley Field, it has a curse. A curse from a goat, <laughs> nonetheless. So back in the day, I think it was 1949, uh, a guy bought a, a, a box seat for his goat. And he wanted the goat to watch the game with him. You know, he's just hanging out with my goat. What's wrong with that? And... Uh, they weren't having it. They're like, you need to, the goat can't be here. All right. You need to take the goat out. And this guy was like, I curse you with my goat. You're cursed. You shall never have a World Series here again. And so the Cubs haven't won a World Series since. They haven't. And so nowadays, people do things like in this recent story where they put dead goats around Wrigley Field. So a package arrived at Wrigleyville, uh, or Wrigley Field. Sorry, I always call it Wrigleyville for some reason. <laughs> It, it arrived uh, with a goat's head in it. So people are always sending goats, dead goats, to Chicago. It's really weird. We're really cool here in Chicago. We're awesome, you know. Anyways, that's Weird News. Click the screen to go to last Weird News. Other than that, have a fantastic day. I love you guys.